Sorry guys, I'm gonna talk a little louder because we got some uh, background noise going on. But we did our first job with uh, the power wash up. Had to do a couple adjustments uh, when we get to them. One, we need to get a sway bar uh, trailer, swing away trailer jack, excuse me. Put on, because it is heavy when this is full of water and we got everything on the trailer. So we also changed the straps um, temporarily until I get the uh, tie downs I'm looking for or a different uh, setup, but we crossed them because having them on the back, back one just kind of falls off, makes me nervous because in the back she's bouncing around and if they're empty, they're just going to roll around. But didn't use much on our first job. We used about mm, half a tank on each side, which wasn't bad. So we used about 50 gallons on our first job. Got more jobs coming up. We'll do a video on that as well. But otherwise this whole setup works pretty well. The pump transfer pump worked really well power washer as you knew from the previous video they worked really well uh, did get a couple other things we did get a surface cleaner a small one to do like porches and other things we're still waiting on a couple other items to show up but this is our surface cleaner it was on sale for like 20 bucks just to try it out but it actually did pretty good on like small stuff we'll do a video later of how all this stuff works but this is our last addition to the trailer. We're going to get this swing away trailer jack installed, which is pretty easy. It's just bolt up, clip it on, then it swings up and move away. But I got to get this front end jacked up so we get enough room. And that is our final piece to this puzzle. Looks like there's some assembly required. Comes with all the bolts, hardware, handles, the adapter, and it comes with a wheel. So it's easy to go around, which is nice. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're going to figure out what bolt for the wheel, get that on, and then we'll figure out on this guy here what size we need to go down, make it down, and put it together, tighten them up, we're done! Alright guys, we got our, all of our stuff over, grabbed our Dinalo's vice grips, a 17mm socket, and a wrench. We're going to put this all together. Real simple, really. I'll try and show you step by step. It's really noisy with the fans. They are like blowing the parking lot so they can be striped. It's awesome. All right, so first up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our check. We're gonna try and get it up here like this. Figure out which hole we need. So it looks like we're gonna need the top holes and the middle hole right there. I think this one's a little too close, but we'll see uh, after I get the top holes on just to hold this so it doesn't fall. Right, it's really hard to film one handed in the trap of the sun, but this is where it's gonna go. This is gonna get bolted up right there, just like this. We're gonna tighten these top two down to hold it, and then we're gonna re I think we're gonna play with the front just a little bit on the bottom. The bottom to see what I can do, but yeah, it's, it's real hard to do this one hand. So, okay, well, I had a brain backwards part, so technically, these. They're actually supposed to go the other way. <laughs> so they, they go into the thing and flip their out. Because this is all the way tight. And, and it's loose, loosey goosey. And it's still noisy as heck over here. But we're gonna flip these around and make it the right way. Alright guys, well we did a boo-boo, so don't listen to anything I said previously. <laughs> Didn't happen. Anyway, there's a little slot. You can see that little angle. That's where the uh square tubing will go into like this if you had a uh, rectangular tubing you turn it this way and go on that way so this whole frame basically and then put these this way i had to add a couple washers to each side of these things because it won't the bolts are long but they are the threads don't go down far enough so we just added a couple washers bring it out and we have enough room now to tighten down these bolts and make them nice and tight. So that's what we're going to do. And we should be good. All right, guys, that is done. These are tightened up. What I'm going to do is get my cutoff tool. I'm just going to whack them off right here so they're not so long. Or if somebody, you know, catches their hand on or something, that won't hurt. And just to be a little short. And we'll get some end caps and screw on there. Maybe. Now we got to put the handle on. So this is a little different because this is going to thread it in. So that's what the uh, vice grips are for. They're going to go on the little notches that are in here. 
hold that, put that in there, tighten this down with the 17 mil socket as well, and we should be able to hand crank this puppy. All right, handles on. Now we should be able to crank it. Let's try it out here. Crank it, crank it, crank it, crank it. Find all the noise. Oh, wheels touch the ground. There goes nothing. roll this back down just to keep it stable all right so tilting this it's just fine i put a little bungee cord right here to hold the handle up just so it's not hanging down and uh hitting the concrete as we go through but we're gonna cut off these little things so right here we'll take make them nice and smooth so we don't have to worry about someone catching their toe on it or whatever or foot on it or leg on it they're standing up here I'm up here, whatever, just safety stuff, you know. But other than that, guys, that's going to do it for this. We'll get uh, some clips on us using this, how it actually works and handles. So far, the first job I did works great. Anyway, hope you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Comment on anything you want to see change. I know some of this stuff is temporary, like the straps across the back. Yes, those are temporary. Um, if we can get some jobs going and some more income off of it, I will get a bigger trailer with a different tote for more water so it's heavier, all that fun stuff. But anyway, give it a thumbs up, give it some likes, comment, and uh, share this video, guys. Anyway, we'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.